Who are you? I'm no one. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. A Jedi. They're real. The Force. It's calling to you. Who are you? I'm no one. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. stand in our way. I will finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. A Jedi. They're real. The Force. It's calling to you. So what attracted you to the role of Mass? Well, what attracted me was, first of all, the opportunity to play a motion capture character. Mm -hmm. I thought that gave me uh, a unique experience where I didn't have, that, where I got to play a character that wasn't limited by my physical mm -hmm. circumstances, and that's something that I wanted to do ever since seeing Andy Serkis in Lord of the Rings as Gollum. And then, obviously, Maz herself, I mean, I felt I was attracted to the heart of her, and I was also attracted to the questions that I had concerning who she was and who she might become 
in 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 the in the movie. And um, thirdly, I was attracted to this project because J.J. Abrams was directing it, and he is such a master at what he does, passionate and empathetic. And I was looking forward to working with him. Tell us about working in motion capture for the first time. What kind of challenges did it present to you as an actress? Well, the thing about motion capture is that Andy Serkis gave me some advice. He said, go about creating this character as you would any other character, which was a relief. And then there is the added challenge of working with the technical aspects of it. And also the challenge of performing something out of costume, out of hair and makeup. You kind of have to imagine those things and imagine how your character in their physicality would experience space and relationships. So that was a challenge, but it's what I signed up for. And it was kind of weird walking around with cameras in my face with lights shining <laughs> on me all the time. How did the real sets and creatures aid your performance? It was so helpful to be a part of the principal photography. I know few motion capture characters get that opportunity to be working with the actual mm -hmm. actors on the actual sets. And to take a step onto that Star Wars those Star Wars war sets and to look at the detail, mm -hmm. the detail that was put into every single thing you see and how everything was so practical. I mean, the creatures walking around. I would stand on that set and just marvel at the fact that I got to be a part of this universe. It is so helpful to have that offered to you, really. Absolutely. What was it like working with Harrison Ford and Daisy Ridley and John Boyega? It was so much fun working with uh, Harrison, Daisy, and John. We, we had a good vibes, good chemistry, I think, and, and everyone was very supportive of each other and um, very focused and, and playful as well, which is always good. Absolutely. Last question. If you had to describe your experience making this film in one word, what would it be and why? Wild. Because never in my wildest dreams, wild again, mm -hmm. did I imagine that, I, that Star Wars would continue 30 years later and that Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill would still be a part of it and that I would be in it with them. I mean, all that is wild. And then the process of making this film with JJ and Andy Serkis, I mean, it was surreal. Mm 